Hello and welcome to Back to One with Brandy. Thank you so much for being here. The last video got cut off, so I decided um, <clears throat> it is the weekend, so I wanted to do the sexual tarot uh, deck. So that's what we're going to start off with. So if you're under 18, offended by sexual illustration, don't like cuss words, under 18, please click off this video. Thank you so much. So here we go. Let's see what we're getting into this weekend as a collective. Not all messages um, may go with you. Only take what resonates. Don't make them fit. <clears throat> See what kind of sexy cards would they bless us with for the weekend, February 7th, 2020. Straight off the rip, we have the Fool. Okay, so this is a sexual outburst. This is surrendering to love. For the first card, <laughs> is there anything else from the sexy deck? We need to go with the full card for the collective of back to one for the weekend of February 7th, 2020. Okay, so some modesty, some modesty, um, something about his flame. This is a Scorpio card, Knight of Chalice. <clears throat> the Hyvern, okay, so this is um, talking about help is there. You have to conquer self-discipline first, which is why we got taming, I think. That's crazy. I can't believe I just said that and it all goes together, but anyways. So, um, some taming, some modesty, some taming. <clears throat> the Nine of Wands is um, having like deep conversation. Okay, the Nine of Wands. Um, I'm going to peek at the book. Oh, how cool. Okay, so the magic of the three birds. Caressing. So if there is a block of doubt, you must hurry to resolve it because it cannot go on forever. The Knight of Swords from the book is um, the magic of the frogs, okay? If that means anything to you. And the Knight of Chalice from the book is um, the magic of the red candle. Without encounters with others, you cannot find yourself. With the Hyvrant, this is a Taurus energy. This is, you know... Um, magnetic power okay so maybe you're magnetically drawn to something um, before calling on higher strength you must be protect yourself and be certain that you have support your intentions must be clear okay your intentions must be clear before you surrender to love Two of Chalice, oh my gosh, with the High Priestess, the King of Wands, another Two of Swords. Woo, okay, so, let me hold it like this. 
Okay, so the Two of Cups, this is um, involvement. Surrender, attraction, affection, collaboration. You can seduce by leaving yourself open to seduce or seduction. Leave yourself open for seduction. Okay, so there's a, a embrace. With the King of Wands, there's an embrace. The High Priestess, she's about um, waiting, okay? Everything's already written in the book of destiny. <sighs> the magic procedure requires acknowledgement and patience while waiting for the change within you. Ooh. And this is the Two of Wands. This is another invitation, okay? The magic of the black chicken. Empathy and understanding are born of promises and the, of the right things and then keeping one's promise. So maybe you're being invited. Waiting for the invitation of the embrace. For the involvement. I feel like somebody is definitely surrendering to love. Caress, taming, modesty. Wow, you guys. Lots of twos. Two, two, two. Bless us with clarifiers for the collective of back to one. The weekend of February 7th, 2020. From this, Four of swords. Okay, so there's healing recite despite the pain. You might be experiencing some pain right now. <clears throat> that card could also um, let you know, like, meditation is great. Okay, so we have um, the Six of Cups with the Tower. So these are forgiveness childhood memories and unstable situation like you're um something's fallen away or there's forgiveness when you apply forgiveness it's gonna it's gonna bless you with change it's a test of your integrity it's a test of your integrity holy shit Anything else from this amazing deck? Anything else? Okay, so we have two of them. We have two high priestess. Trust what comes from within out. Trust your instincts. Okay? Trust your instincts. There's a lot going on and a lack of help. <clears throat> And something might be more dangerous than perceived. As you can see, um, she took the eye instead of the cherry for the first bite. That's also a Libra card. So maybe if you're a Libra, it's saying trust what um, is coming from within. You know, you got a lot going on. Or it's letting you know, like, you got a lot going on. It's dangerous. Trust your instincts. Anything else from this amazing deck? Pause and evaluate. Do you see the fox in the background? Can you clarify the three of wands for me? Clarify the three of wands, please. Woo! Okay, so they clarified the three of wands with the three of discs. Okay, so so pause and evaluate the situation of maybe some partnership 
Maybe there's a third party. <clears throat> you have the ten of you have the ten of desks. So may, this I feel like this is definitely um, work related because it's talking about finances, or that's what you're positive evaluating. And maybe there's like um, some kids involved, or it's like a young energy. It might even be another Taurus. We have double Taurus energy. Double Taurus energy, you guys. I love it when they clarify threes with threes. <clears throat> Stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Okay? Maybe that's why they were uh, suggesting some meditation. Oh, and they're saying get the fuck outside, move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. Um, the sunlight helps with depression. Just saying. That vitamin D. <laughs> okay, don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. But that was funny because it landed on the... Here we go. Allow that shit to come to you. Any other rebel cards from this amazing deck to go today's reading the weekend February 7, 2020. Okay. Put down that phone. Put down that fucking phone. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. And what affirmations? Uh, will help us best with the situations that lay before us for the collective of back to one February 7th, 2020, this weekend. What affirmation do we need most for this weekend? received clarity and engagement and they're both blue so I'm going to ooh something even happened to my throat <clears throat> sorry something's going on in my throat okay so it's definitely indication of throat chakra so I will list that meditation down below um clarity screenshot that an engagement and you can screenshot that thank you so much for being here with me i hope you've gained the utmost um guidance on this beautiful weekend remember put the phone down Get outside, move your ass, allow that shit to come to you. There's clarity coming. Make a conscious choice to engage with others. Some meditation. Some
some involvement. Okay. Ooh, under involvement, we had the Ten of Pentacles. So you can't love others till you love yourself. Something about the mirror. Savoring. Have a great weekend, you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me.